Good afternoon, my friends. Today, I am heading out to SeaWorld Orlando to have our first look at Penguin Trek, their newest coaster opening next spring of 2024. I have been invited out for a preview party. I'm very excited about that. Also, I wanna to try to ride Pipeline for my first time because it has been a while since I've last been to SeaWorld. But yeah, let's get over there and have some fun. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. Here we are, just made it here to SeaWorld Orlando. There's Pipeline right there. I am now making my way over to the front entrance. I wanted to point out, it is a beautiful day here in Central Florida this afternoon. Okay, I am all checked in and ready to go. I was also given a scavenger hunt to do. And you are tall enough for this attraction, my friends. <laughs> so you have to be 42 inches in order to ride. Exactly, which is the same height as my friends, the Emperor Penguins. Oh my goodness, this is the actual track that is about to be installed. I was wondering why it's so cold over here. We have some snow that's melting. That's a nice touch. This is awesome. It looks like it's going to be a pretty dang smooth coaster just by the looks of it. Hello there. Congratulations on your newest roller coaster. I cannot wait to ride it next spring. Thank you so much. It's like sliding on ice, but without the frostbite. <laughs> exactly. And it's not just a coaster. It's a full-fledged penguin rescue mission experience. You'll feel like you're right there in Antarctica, swooping in to save our swaddling buddies. <laughs> and let me tell you, Justin, this coaster isn't just any ride. It's like a family reunion with a bunch of penguins tagging along. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, Jessica. It's a ride for the whole family. Penguin Trek is a thrilling addition to SeaWorld Orlando's impressive portfolio of attractions. We've got something for everyone, from the daring thrill seekers to the little ones of the family. And speaking of family, Justin, did you know that penguins have best friends? They call them mate for life. It's like the ultimate friendship goals. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica, that's almost as amazing as the penguin trek itself. But hold on, folks, because we have a special guest waiting in the wings. And we're not just talking about Buck. We've got the man with the plan, one of the architects of the excitement, the connoisseur of coasters, SeaWorld's incredible VP of Attraction Design and Engineering, Jeff Hornick. Good afternoon, esteemed members of the media, friends, and fellow coaster enthusiasts. Thank you for joining us today at SeaWorld Orlando, the coaster capital of Orlando, for this momentous occasion. My name is Jeff Hornick. I'm thrilled to be standing before you as the Vice President of Attraction Design and Development for SeaWorld Parks and Entertainment. And let me tell you, we have got an announcement that's going to send waves of excitement through your coaster-loving hearts. SeaWorld Orlando has always been a hub of thrilling experiences. And today, I am beyond excited to be sharing our first previews of our highly anticipated 2024 attraction. The eighth wonder in our ever-expanding ride portfolio, the one, the only, Penguin Trek. Before I dive into the thrilling details, let's kick things off with a sneak peek into the Antarctic adventure that awaits you. set to take your breath away as you embark on an exhilarating journey through the vastness of Antarctica. We invite our guests to board a custom-designed snowmobile ride vehicle as they set off on an expedition through harsh environments in search of a colony of penguins. 
you'll experience two exhilarating launches, a maze of twists and turns, and speeds up to 43 miles per hour across 3,020 feet of track that traverses both indoors and outside. Does that sound exciting or what? Yeah. As the coaster comes to a halt, you won't find yourself just walking through another exit gift store. Of course, we'll have the store where you can get all your favorite penguin plush and souvenirs. But no, this experience will culminate with a trek on foot through the heart of SeaWorld's own penguin habitat, where you'll be face to beak with the real penguin colony. Talk about a grand finale. Now, I want you to imagine your whole family on board. From your little adventurers, you see a few of those out here today, hey guys, standing 42 inches tall, to you thrill-seeking friends. It's an experience for everyone, young and old, to share in the joy of exploration and adventure. And here's a little insider tip for our 2024 annual pass members. You can be one of the first to ride Penguin Trek during exclusive ride times. Passes are on sale now, so don't miss your chance to be part of this history-making roller coaster launch. This exciting promo video is not the only exclusive that we have for you today. We ask you to turn your attention to catch a, a glimpse of the actual Penguin Coaster track proudly on display right there, resting on some great ice. So make sure you take your pictures before you leave. But we took inspiration from the colors and textures of Antarctica and Antarctic, Antarctic environments to develop this unique visual character. It's a fantastic preview of the thrills that await when you take the first ride in 2024. All right, I think that's going to do it because the event is over and Hollow Scream is about to start. But I mean, this is so cool getting up and close to the actual track for this coaster. I cannot wait. Two launches, it's a family coaster. I think this is going to be awesome. SeaWorld's eighth coaster here. I do think if SeaWorld continues to bring new thrilling coasters here, I think they have a big chance to draw a completely new audience because people love roller coasters. I love roller coasters. I'm such a theme park enthusiast. I just love everything about theme parks and coasters and just the entire experience. But I think if SeaWorld continues to bring new and exciting coasters here, man, they have a huge chance to stand out against the nearby theme parks because who doesn't love a brand new coaster? And I mean, SeaWorld just continues to bring new and exciting coasters. We have Mako here, then we have Icebreaker, and now Pipeline, and then next year, Penguin Trek. My goodness, by the way, the snow is melting here. They have a few food offerings out for us to try. This is the Snowball Ice Cream, Vanilla Bean Ice Cream, and Coconut. Oh, here's a better look at Pipeline. I think they just closed the ride down because there's a Hollow Scream event this evening. So they're trying to clear out the park. Dang, I really wanted to ride this today. I think this is going to be our best view of Pipeline. This looks like so much fun. I'm just going to have to come back and ride. Oh, here we go. It is a standing coaster. Would you look at that? I can already see the Christmas trees that are inside of the lagoon. Christmas is coming. It's happening. We're just about to Halloween, hence Hollow Scream right here. But now it's time to talk Christmas here in the next few weeks. I even brought my GoPro because I was hoping to ride some coasters today. On my way out, I was given this pretty cool Penguin Trick coffee mug. And then if I want, I can clip it on my belt or my backpack. Thanks, SeaWorld. I made my way back to the front of the park because I wanted to show you guys the current pricing. There you go. A single park ticket, ages three and up, $138.99. Or you can get a 2024 fun card 
for not that much more are the same price. Not bad. Or you can purchase a annual pass. Again, not too bad compared to the other theme parks. And then you have an option for multi-park tickets to SeaWorld, Aquatica, Busch Gardens, and Adventure Island. And then don't forget, here at SeaWorld Orlando, across the way here, you have Discovery Cove. One of my personal favorite things to do here in the Orlando area. All right, my friends, that's going to do it for today's video. I know it was a shorter video, but that's all that happened at this media event, which by the way, thank you so much to SeaWorld for having me out. This was actually my very first media type event with SeaWorld. Very honored to be here. And I just can't wait for Penguin Trek to come next year. Two launches, it's a family coaster. Can't wait, it's going to be super fun and exciting. and. Honestly, if SeaWorld continues to keep up building new coasters, I think this theme park has a chance. I really do, just because this is a more affordable park option for families, especially right now in the current times. And you know, this place is very packed right now. The parking lot is full as Hallow Scream is about to start. The park is actually just about to close right now, so I don't have enough time to go inside to finish out the video because I really wanted to ride Pipeline, but that's just a reason for me to come back to do a full SeaWorld Orlando video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. I love you guys so much. Please remember, it's nice to be nice in YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. I'm out.